Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the new features of IB Spentex version 10.1. There are several interesting and exciting new features on the app. So let's get started. The first feature is the new FX layer. Now you can add an effects layer above the painting layer. With that, you can easily change or fix the color values. Unfortunately, most of these functions are for premium versions, but you can do the basic things like changing brightness or contrast, hue, saturation, or color balance. As you can see, all of the other options from different menus are all blocked. So let's quickly do a change in the color balance and see what happens. This is how it looks like when I add the layer. By clicking on the FX button on the right side of the menu, you can change the values once again. Also, you can turn on the clipping tool so that the effect only applies to a certain layer. I think it is a nice addition where you can quickly change the color values or brightness without modifying the actual painting layer. You can easily turn off the layer or just delete it if you want. The next feature is for the comic or manga creators. But that doesn't mean it won't be helpful for the people who just want to paint. So for this, we have to go to the manga manuscript settings first. Then you have to turn off the manga manuscript button if you don't need it. Then if I change the color mode to grayscale, then everything turns into grayscale painting. I think it's going to be super helpful if you are trying to study values. With this tool, you would be able to choose any color and paint just based on the value without worrying about how it looks like. And in the end, you might surprise yourself. I'm actually thinking of doing a painting like this and see what happens. If you want, you can change the color mode to black and white as well. But I don't think that would be suitable for people who wants to paint. Now it's time for one of my favorite features. The new color bar for recent colors. It is so useful and I really wanted them to add it. It was such a hassle to always color pick from the canvas, so having the recent color bar saves a lot of time. Personally, this is my favorite update from this version. Now, for the final feature, we have the AI enhancement. They say that it makes the resolution two times more than the usual size. Let's see how it works. One important thing to remember that you need to keep your internet connection on to be able to use this. So after the processing, they automatically zoom in the picture to show the difference between the enhanced resolution and the actual resolution. I am noticing that there are visible improvements and changes but I'm not sure if I like it that much. The reason is I wanted to keep those inconsistencies on purpose, but it's fixing it forcibly to make them look smoother. So it's kind of changing the look that I initially planned. It's also changing the pattern of the noise that I deliberately created. So for an artwork like this one, I think it won't be that useful. 
But let's see how much the size increased. 22.8 MB is surely a large one because most of the time the size of my artworks are around 5 to 7 MB and sometimes 10 MB but that is on the rare side. Now let's see what the actual size is. Like I said, it's always around 5 to 7 MB. I'm curious about what happens if I do the same process for a relatively smooth artwork. Okay, so I do see the improvements here. It's making the pixel size smaller so the artwork is looking sharper. I don't know if it's that clear to you guys but the enhanced version is very smooth. Notice those eyelashes. They look much more sharper when I look at the enhanced version. Then again, if you take a look at it from far away, there's not much significant differences. Unless you need to print your artwork as a physical copy, I think the usual size works just fine. But once again, I use the full HD canvas, so if you are working on a lower resolution than that, then this feature will be super helpful especially for the people who works on their mobile phone or any device that glitches or slows down because of too many layers. Now you would be able to produce HQ images even if your initial canvas size was smaller. So I decided to do a final checking by reducing the screen size on purpose and then using the AI enhancement once again. Now let's check if it's actually worth it or not. I must admit that I do see a significant improvement. It's still too low quality for me because I am used to make higher quality images from the beginning already but I think it would be decent size if someone with a very low resolution tries to opt for a higher one. So I think this is a pretty useful feature right there. So those were all the new features of IB Spentex and I'm honestly very happy that this app keeps getting better with every update. I've never seen a free app that can provide this much range of tools and features for their users. I'm not sure why it's not much professionally acclaimed, but it deserves the recognition. Let me know your opinions on the new updates in the comment section. And of course I will share the full process of this painting in the next video. So please stay tuned. Once again. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.